general relativity, step by step. I've done three terms here. I'm going to do the fourth. Let me just pinch in it. What's the sign for a start? Oh, it's this one here, so it's minus. I'm going to multiply this term here by this one here. Uh, so we've got another minus here. Did I keep the sign there? Yeah. Eta, this one doesn't change. Eta, gamma, sigma. But you can see that there's a delicate set of decisions to make as to which terms to coalesce with which terms. And it's not entirely straightforward to decide which one goes with which one. What am I doing here? 1, 2, 3, that's the fourth term. 1, 2, 3, that's the fourth term. So it's a minus. Have I got the minus? Yes. Beta, nu, alpha, mu. Beta, nu, alpha, mu. Is that right? Beta, nu, alpha, mu. Beta, nu, alpha, mu. Yeah, that's right. Equals minus. Hmm. Let's have a think about this. Yeah, you see, this one's qualitatively different from the others. Uh, if I coalesce, we've got an alpha and a mu together. Uh, let me let me draw it in. I'm going to mark the indices. That alpha, that alpha there, goes with this one here, but it's on the same metric tensor as the mu. So these guys go together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to observe that I can use this uh, metric tensor here, alpha mu, with the same indices here, just to raise the index. So it's H, uh, not to raise the index, it, 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 it's, it's, it's the trace of it. It's alpha mu, H, alpha mu. It's just, just H. It's just H. It's just the trace. It, it's just the trace. It's the same thing as, it's the same thing as H, alpha, alpha. It's, it's, it's just a contraction. It's just a scalar. Now, what's it operating on? Uh, well, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. We've got a new there and a sigma there. So we've got a di sigma upstairs. And we have got a beta there and there. So we've got a di gamma. Beautiful. Uh, let me just go through that again. We've got alpha, alpha, which equals by definition alpha, beta, eta, um, alpha, beta. We're just... We're just considering the trace of, of H. We'll see that this is an important concept later on because we're going to use the trace of H to simplify the equations. Now, I know this is a short one, but I'm going to stop there because I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous about the other terms here. <laughs> I've, been, I've been putting it off. Um, but we've got these three terms here, and there's a factor of a half which makes me nervous there. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll hope that things uh, hope that things come together. Okay, stop there. Stop.